So commissioning or defining it as to prove that the system operates to its design intent. Good day everyone, you're watching Makoka Enterprises. The rest topic is gonna to be on uh, testing and commissioning. So we've um, have driven us through the different processes or the different process that we had while we are carrying out the installation work. So <laughs> I talked of um, beginning with um, the construction activities, which I divided the construction activities into three different parts. So I talked of the first fix, the second fix, and the third fix. So I talked of the first fix, which is installation of uh, GI conduits, con cable tray, trunkings, PVC conduits, and so on and so forth. And then after carrying out that with this inspection, get approval, then we proceed now with the next fix, which is the second fix. So second fix now, we're talking of uh, pulling cables or pulling wires. So after that has been done, we now proceed with testing of the cables or the wires, so which is the dead test. So under the dead test, I classify them into two different parts, which we have continuity test and insulation resistant test. So um, for better understanding as well, it's really good you go through the video which I had done so that you get to understand what is continuity test and what is mega test. And then also I went into talking of after carrying out the test, now we can proceed with um, signing off of the clearance. So I talked of clearance is giving way for the other uh, contractor or for the other services to carry out their own activities. So in this case now, the clearance that we are signing, it could either be for floor, it could either be for wall or for ceiling. So while we are preparing ourselves to move into the third fix or the final fix, we have to ensure that all the different predecessing activities have been done and approved as well by the consultant prior to signing off for clearance so that the we proceed with either the wall closure or ceiling closure or the floor. It could either be tiling or marbles, whatever. So once that is done now, we now move into carrying out now the third fix, which is the final fix. So for the final fix now, it's the wiring devices that we'll be carrying out. It could either be um, the uh, DB termination, which is a distribution bar termination. It, it could either, it, it also either be the sub main distribution board, which is the SMDBs, or probably LV panels and all that. So once all that is being carried out and it's approved, now we can proceed with the testing and commissioning. So first and foremost, I'll define um, testing and commissioning as, or first of all, define what is testing and then we'll move now to commissioning. So testing is to prove the quality of the work that is being carried out on site. So while proving, we are testing to ensure that the work has been carried out with specification as well as the project requirement. This is very important. So after understanding now what is the testing or probably carrying out the testing and you ensure that everything has been carried out and is okay, fit for use, now we can move now to commissioning the system. So commissioning or defining it as to prove that the system operates to its design intent. So in this case now, we might be talking of probably jet fans or probably um, um, chill water pumps, or we talk of chillers, we talk of, uh, there are so many things which, while we are carrying out the different services, or probably we're talking of uh, a building management system, we're talking of fire alarm system, access control system. So all these different systems, we need to commission them based on the requirement and how the system is supposed to function. Like I didn't mention is to test the system to ensure or to make sure that it operates to its design intent, which is very important. So in this case, if I'm talking of probably an electric motor. So before we dive into understanding what is the use of that electric motor, because after understanding the use of it, you'll be able now to commission the motor to know exactly how it should function. So if the motor is functioning or should, the, 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 the intent of this electric motor is for a pump, which is used for submersible pump, for example. So in this case, now you commission it based on the fact that it should be able to pump water from either go from living from the ground and then pulling it to a reservoir point, for example. So in this case, also we might be talking of um, jet fans, we might be talking of um, fresh air fans. So it should be able to uh, give out the amount or the airflow that is required to give out at 
that particular location. This is very important. So for electric fans, for example, we might be talking of electric motor. In this case, we carry out the testing. So what are the different tests that we carry out? Uh, first of all, I explained already the different testing procedures that we have and how we carry out all the different testing procedures. So to test different equipments or probably to test while carrying out electrical installation works, we have them divided into different areas or into different parts. So I'll be focusing on BS7671. And as such as well, the same test which you find in BS7671, you could as well find them in, uh, since we are talking of Qatar, so we'll be talking of QCS 2014 section 21 part 23. So if we go through this different section, you'll find almost similar tests that are being carried out in BS7671 also found in QCS 2014 section 21 part 23. So in this case now we'll be talking of QCS 2014 or probably we're talking of BA7671. So for BA7671, what is the first test to be carried out will be continuity test. The second test is going to be um, mega test. So we're carrying out insulation resistant test. And then the next now will be, we carry out now continuity for final ring circuit. So you will notice that all these three different tests are being carried out when the insulation the installation is dead. There is no power that is supplied to the electrical circuit or probably to the electrical panel board or probably to your equipment. So there's no power supplied to it. So I'll term these different tests that are being carried out as the dead test. The next test now that moves after these dead tests are carried out, we now have to give power now to the installation. In this case, we now start calling them the live test. So the next preceding test will be our polarity test. So we'll carry out polarity test First and foremost, we have to make sure that the different phases have been put as per the standard of that particular country. So if we are talking of British standard, we're talking of ROIB phases, the red, the blue, and the yellow phase. So all should be assembled as per how it's supposed to be assembled. So to ensure that we don't have any phases that have been mixed or probably put the blue face in this spot where we have the blue face is supposed to be fitted or probably take the yellow and then you fit in where the red is supposed to be fitted. So we have to make sure that we maintain the polarity as per the standard. The next test that will be carried out now will be at electro test. So for the at electro test, we could either carry out, in this case, I might be talking of three points uh, uh, procedure that we'll be carrying out. You carry out the at uh, electro test and ensure that we have a satisfactory value. And as such, we ensure that the value does not, or it should not be greater than one ohm of a resistance, which is very important. So after carrying out the at electro test, the next test now is going to be at for loop impedance test. After carrying out the at for loop impedance test, we have the prospective fault current, and then later we move to the phase sequence test. So for the phase sequence test now, we have to ensure that we have a full rotation that is, it could either be depending on the kind of instrument you're using or the phase sequence tester that you're using, it could either be analog, it could either be digital. So for analog type, you will have it rotating. While for digital type, now you will find either having one, two, three displayed on the screen to tell you that uh, we have a correct phase rotation or our polarities or the different uh, conductors that we've terminated on our panel board, they are well terminated and follow the requirement of the project as well as the standard, which is very important. So um, like I did mention, before carrying out all these different commissioning, we have to ensure that we test the system to ensure that it is moving as per or it works as per the quality of the project and meets to the specification of the project before we start carrying out commissioning of the system. And also, you have to make sure that you carry out the different procedures and ensure that you don't mix them out in such a way that when you start carrying out commissioning of your system, you don't have different activities that have been missed out during the construction phase. This is very important. This is just to give us an awareness and an insight. And then also for all the different tests, I've made a video just hit on my YouTube page or on my uh, Facebook page. You're going to find all the different tests, the procedures and how to carry out the different tests. I've mentioned everything clearly and the satisfactory values that you are supposed to be getting. And also 
Till then, you're watching Macogan Enterprises.